T2L uh, content area also has a, a great ability to add multimedia uh, content, including videos um, of any sort into the content area, which would sort of work as a, a binder for the course. So, um, or, or, or if you think of it like a Google folder that students would have access to sort of in a, but in a more of a linear fashion that they could uh, complete um, as they work through a particular unit. Um, so I've, I've shown you an example here of, of how they can use a Padlet within this place and within the uh, content area, and they can actually add right in it. So they can work right in it. You can shut this down also, but it's a nice way to uh, share your content this way. And um, if you wanted to, you can um, also take this, take any content piece that you create and post it to your activity feed. It's a nice workflow here. So this could be a Google Doc or it could be a Google Slideshow or it could be your Padlet. Um, but let's do it with the Padlet. You would click the three dots, post to your course homepage. And now we're able to create a message. Here is the work today. You can give some descriptive ideas on what you want the students to do with this activity. And then they would be able to just click the link and it would take them into your Padlet and it would show up on the um, activity feed. I believe I have the news feed active right now, so it won't be visible. Um, actually, I have it over here. So there's that Padlet activity and your students could just click on it and now they're directly into the content area where they can complete this activity. So that's a nice workflow that's within D2L that you can do. And again, you just utilize the three dots and you would click post to a course homepage. It's already done, so I can't do that right now. But if I went to another sheet and I clicked post to course homepage, I could do the same. So it's pretty simple how you do this. I have a Padlet. I'm just going to uh, click on it. I would just copy the URL here. And I would go back into my resource area. Click Create New. Web link. I would paste it. I can do this with a YouTube video or Padlet or Flipgrid. Name. Hit save and that becomes part of our content area. I can do the same thing with Flipgrid. So that's a video tool, different type of tool. Many of you might know about this tool. I'll just quickly show it, but this is a, I want them to record a video for me. So all I would do is I would click sh the share feature and I would uh, cop the, copy the link. So I've got that link and I would go back into my um, resource area that I've been creating. So maybe this is the, the, the lead in activity for the, uh, the unit. So I go create new web link and I'm going to post this link. Save. And now that Flipgrid activity is part of my content and all students have to do is click record in order to click a video in order to put in a video response and that'll show in this area right here so the students were able to view each other's um, content and their creations uh, very easily and very quickly and so let's say if i wanted if this was a linear progression in the unit i can drag this up and move it to anywhere i want within the module i can put it right here to start at the module so just a couple of examples of, of content we can put in there. Again, we could, we, could, we could create new and just add a web link for a YouTube video and, and store a number of our YouTube videos that we um, create.